how to configure a Cisco router as DHCP client. Um, I'm going to use this topology. So I have, I'm using a Cisco router as a DHCP server and uh, client, I mean, the Cisco as client one and uh, later I'm also going to show you how you can configure a switch as a as a client, DHCP client. So let's, I actually already, already configured the DHCP server and here, let me just show you the configuration. So this is the interface that is facing the client, of course, here. And this is the IP address. And of course, the it's slash 24, as you can see here as well. And let me just show you the DHCP full configuration. Yeah, so I am not excluding any IP addresses. I'm just saying network, uh, network, and then the the uh, you know the the network ID and the subnet mask and the default router, which is uh, the IP address assigned to gigabit zero slash zero. And that's it. That's the configuration on the DHCP server. So let me just show you this config. I mean, this the output of this command. So you see here that there's no IP addresses being allocated allocated to the clients. Later, we're going to use the same command to verify the the IP addresses that are allocated to the clients. So let me start. Uh, configuring client one. So I'm going to go to client one, which is a router, by the way. Um, so I'm just going to actually just gonna copy and paste this. Then save. So expectation is, yeah, you, we should see this uh, message that says um, interface gigabit zero slash zero assigned to HCP address uh, 10.1.1.1 submit mask that and hostname client is that. I mean, hostname is that. So let me. Just verify that here. Yeah. So method is DHCP. And of course, we can also verify the configuration. Yeah, it looks correct. And if you do a show IP route, you will see that the uh, last res there is a la gateway of last resort, which is this is the, the default. Uh, this is the the default gateway address, which is this is the uh, which is configured on the uh, the DHCP server. So let me ping the, that uh, IP address. Yeah, I can ping it. And if we go back to the DHCP server, we see that we should see that an IP address is being allocated here. This is the IP address on client one. Uh, the IP address on gig zero slash zero. Okay, that's how you can configure a router as DHCP client. Let's uh, try a switch. So as you can see here, I have also uh, client two, I mean switch as client two. I'm actually going to remove this connection and then I will replace client one with client two 
Okay. And let me go to client two. Actually, add that command here. Uh, to verify default route. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, client 2, we see that this is the configuration. This is the interface that is connected to the server, the HCP server. So I'm going to, uh, actually this is switch port, no switch port. Okay. So if we say IP address, no option. So we need to make this switch, I mean this port as a, a layer 3 port because uh, it appears that this is a layer 2 port by default. So I'm going to make to make it layer 3, I'm going to do switch port, no switch port. And then if I do that command, I'll have that option. So I will say DHCP. And then did I do no shut? Let me just do no shut. And save. So we should see an IP address assigned to that interface. Yeah. So here the dot uh, ten dot one dot one dot two is assigned to that interface, gig zero slash zero. And of course, we can verify that by doing this command. Yeah. And let me do show IP route as well. Yep. So this is the default gateway, which is correct. Let me just ping it. Yeah. It's working as expected. So there is actually another way that uh, you can assign a DHCP IP address on a switch. Um, in this case, uh, I used a physical port, but you can actually use a, a uh, SVI. <clears throat> so to do that, I'm going to remove the IP address that is assigned to this IP address. Or let's actually try to not remove it. So I'm going to do this uh, configuration here. I mean, this here. And I'm going to say DHCP. Oops, let me just do show no shot. IP address DHCP. DHCP. Uh, okay. Oops. Okay, looks like this switch doesn't support it. Uh, uh, do this again. Yeah, so we see that this we see this that this is the SVI. And let me try again. I cannot say no switch port, right? Yeah. So no, yeah. And no shut, that's done. No IP, ad IP address, yeah, no option to get a DHCP IP address from this SBI. 
so it looks like this switch doesn't support that but I'm going to try to actually remove the IP address from that interface so I'm going to do this command let me just type it oops okay shut And then I'm going to default it. Yeah, so there should be no configuration. Okay, and it's shut down. So I'm going to just no shut it. And then I'm going to try to oh. Oops. Hold on. There is no gig zero slash zero. Uh, I'm was configuring the incorrect, the wrong interface. Sorry about that. Um, so, okay, let me just verify. Okay, so. I was I was able to configure it earlier. So how come it here? That's weird. Hmm. Maybe it's a bug. It was here. And then it disappeared all of a sudden. Oh, I see it's here. Sorry. Um, hmm, okay. So I was, I was right. Um, going to verify that. Okay, looks good. And I'm going to configure a SVI to get a DHCP IP address. Yeah, this this uh, switch doesn't support it. So <clears throat> let me try to no shut it. Yeah, still no DHCP uh, option. Um, that is fine. I'm just going to stick with the physical interface, which is totally fine. So I'm going to put it back. No shut, IP DHCP, I mean IP address DHCP. Hold on. CP, IP. Oh, no, no port, no port first, no switch port. And then IP address, DHCP. Okay, now we see, now we see that this, inter this IP address is assigned to that interface, gig zero slash zero. And 
we can also do that command. Okay, looks good. We can ping the default gateway again, gateway address. And again, if we go back to the DHCP server and just do the same command here, we should see that these IP addresses are assigned to the clients. All right, yeah, that's how you can configure a Cisco router and a switch as DHCP clients.